Hey, Horseman staff, I'm here to front load you with some information that I'm going to try and cover at an optional PLC on a Thursday later on called Student Completion. See it right there? Student Completion. Um, what it does is it makes you, it lets you set up a whole bunch of activities that the students have to complete in a specific order. So you can set up a whole unit or a portion of units of a unit that kids have to um, complete in, um, in a linear fashion. So I want to show you it. In one of my courses here I have something called a fake section right here. And um, one tip that I saw before I dive into it is that uh, some, some professional experienced users of Schoology actually hide these things from their students. Now I'll be able to see them all these material indexes they hide uh, so that uh, the kids don't have access to them and oops that's gonna show and what that does is it, it guides kids access to where you actually need it so they don't have to dig so right now the only things kids could see are, are what's up here and right now I'm going to show you in a persuasive writing mini unit sort of thing. Um, some activities, of course they're in here, but I don't want to have to have kids dive into files and links of which I have 15 items or assignments, I have five. Tests and quizzes, there's 10 items. This, uh, by hiding these and building folders and then maybe using student, the student completion um, technique or um, feature allows you to really direct student learning and make it more clear for them. So in the persuasive writing uh, folder that I created, I have multiple activities. I have a, a web quest, uh, a link to a web quest that I would want them to start with. Then I also have, the, I have a video for them that I'd like to have them watch. And then uh, a pages document that I want them to write down a response in then submit that response and then join a discussion group that I have in here and finally I'm going to end this all with um, a quiz so how do I get them to do this all in the same in, the, in, in a certain order well I go up here to options and click on student completion so this whole folder is going to be under the student completion feature so I click this and I get this little thing here says said student completion rules requirements must be completed in a sequential order I'm gonna make sure that I, I check that um, and I'm gonna add a requirement and it's gonna pick the first one oh, I wonder if my microphone is too far away I hope that's better um, web quest advertising that's that first one I want them to make sure that they view the item that's what they have to do first after that I'm going to choose my second one, which is the commercial. And again, I want them to view that commercial. If they don't view the commercial, they won't be exposed to the third thing I'm putting up there, which is the um, all state commercial response, this pages document. I need them to view it, which also means they download it. And the next one would be that they have to turn it in to an assignment. Uh, and I have an assignment created with a Dropbox there and they must actually make a submission. They could also make a submission and have to score at least, I don't know, whatever percentage you would like before they move on. But right now I want them to make a submission so that they can then be exposed to this next bit, which would be the discussion. In the discussion, the member must score at least. I'm going to say... Um, a 90 percent uh, for this advertising discussion I said that they have to start a topic and reply to at least two other kids um, and that's how that discussion will be graded so if they do it all um, they'll get a 100 but if they do it all but it's kind of like just sloppy or not whatever that's why I chose 90 you can obviously do anything the way that you want but after they've done this discussion uh, the last bit of this would be to take the quiz and again, I'm going to have them score at least 80. And I have um, the test set up so that they can 
uh, have at least, um, I think they have two, two tries on the test. Um, so that's how I set this all up. Now if I hit save changes, you can see that my description also reflects that they must view the item, must view, must view, um, must make a submission for this assignment, and they must score at least a 90, must score at least an 80. And now when kids start this, um, when you direct them into this folder, um, they will see the web quest. That's all they'll see until they click it and go through it. Um, then the next one will be um, the Allstate commercial. This one will be exposed to them. So um, these two items right here, the submission, or three items, the advertising discussion and the uh, advertisement quiz, if I go into my grade book, you can, you'll probably see that those items are automatically put into my grade book for grading. Oh, and one of them, the submission I have set up as a rubric, which hopefully if you came to, uh, if you come to tomorrow's, or if you came to tomorrow's, depending on when you see this, um, rubric PLC, you'll understand this rubric a bit better. So that's basically how to set up um, student completion model. Things that are in the grade book, and uh, um, I have due dates set for these, and I have them all set for the same time. I think I chose March 8th for those because that's going to be my final due date for the advertisement quiz. So, March 8th, March 8th, March 8th. Um, you can play with that and see what happens. I just wanted this whole package of this mini unit to be due all at the same time, so that's why I kind of set it up that way. Also, hiding certain things and then dropping them in folders. Oh, by the way, you know what this this math test folders? This is done. So I wonder if I can, I can probably just move this out uh, somewhere else. Uh, let's move it to, oh, uh, you know what? I wouldn't want to move it. I think what I'd want to do is save it to my resources. I wonder if it's there. I'm going to just set it somewhere. Anyway, I'll stick it in. Math. Did that go away? No, it didn't. It just saved a copy. Well, I saved a copy and I can then delete that. So now kids would not see the math test folders. They'd just see these two here. I don't know, that's an idea that I thought was interesting. I'll share more with you later about this whole tips and tricks in organizing your materials and um, student completion later on. Thanks for watching.